My beloved people, this morning I wish to uh, bring to your attention that after Mass we shall have a baptism. Uh, the new son of our John and Mary Manning. And of course, anyone who wishes to remain, I'm sure will be most welcomed by the family. On the table in the back of the church, uh, we have some of these little holy cards of the Holy Family with the Nazareth prayer on it. Uh, you feel absolutely welcome to pick up the ones that you think you need and, uh, and give them wherever you think they might best serve the purpose. I wish this morning only uh, to spend just a very few minutes time, since we do have the baptism after Mass, um, to you to encourage you to carefully read the bulletin not only to read the bulletin, but to absorb what is being presented in the bulletin. This morning's bulletin, you may feel, well, what is he trying to tell us? Uh, well, I may not be speaking to us directly in this particular area, but uh, I am, as you, as you know, these bulletins do go out into various parts of the nation and the world, and there are some things that just simply have to be said and um, let those who have ears to hear listen and hear those who have eyes to see to see is what we're taking the position in today's bulletin but we do stress the holy family and we do stress going to nazareth and as you know we have been talking about this in days past that we do not uh, really understand what, was ta what took place in Nazareth and how it took place in Nazareth. You will find in today's bulletin a very interesting little picture that uh, we found by accident here just recently, and it shows our blessed Lord, a little boy, that's helping his father uh, cut across a log at the other end of a cross-cut saw. Now, this is certainly a little menial task that this little boy uh, was performing. And it is this kind of life, as, and it is also portrayed in the picture of the holy card of the life of Nazareth, that we must learn to not place too much mythology around the activities of our blessed Lord's life and around the life of our blessed mother and around the life of Joseph. They are the ones that lived the divine way of living on earth. And we should imitate them to the extent possible. So as we start the new year this morning, um, and yesterday having um, celebrated the, fe the great feast of the epiphany of our Lord, uh, we certainly need to try to look at life as we should look at it and in the way that the, that the divine God in heaven would want us to see it. I wish also to bring to your attention that after Mass we will have Epiphany chalk available. Please help yourselves to the chalk. And there are different colors of chalk in the little bowl. Some of you might wish to have different colors. Chalk is chalk and the color of the chalk has nothing to do with the validity of the blessing. So I mention that because I feel sure that uh, there might be some here or elsewhere who might think that the color of chalk has something to do with it. So uh, take the chalk and as you know, and it's attached to today's bulletin, uh, you know how to go about blessing your houses uh, with this chalk and inscribing on the doors of your houses the inscription that carried the initials of the three wise men. So, as we go about the house, let us be reminded of this, and let us put as best we can into practice that which pertains to God 
and in the way that things do pertain to God. So I wish you the best and ask Almighty God uh, to help you and to bless you and those you love most. And to bless this little baby that this morning is, ab is about to be baptized and that the world in which he will grow into, that it will not be so strong as to cause him any harm. May Almighty God bless you and keep you and protect you always.